Yes, I'm one of the benefactors of the Los Angeles Music Center. Yeah. I just moved to Los Angeles. Yes, I used to run a detective agency. Yeah. For me? <laughs> I'm a private detective. No, I... No, I never married. I almost did some... 30 years ago, but... You know, just one of those things. I just turned 30 years old. The Rock Hudson Show, and you play Rock Sun. Tell me about Rock Sun. Tell you about Rock Sun? Um, I don't know much about Rock Sun right now, because it hasn't been much written. I, I know that I'm a private investigator, and I have this little habit of getting into trouble, which only Dad can get me out of. So, and uh, Dad is Rock Hudson. And uh, that's basically all I know about it right now. Honest to goodness truth. This isn't the first time you've worked with Rock. I call him Rock like I know him personally. But uh, <laughs> uh, you worked with him in the Star Maker. Right, we did. I worked, uh, I had, yeah, I was lucky, lucky enough to work with him and Suzanne Plachette and Brenda Vaccaro. I was on the set for five weeks and it was just, uh, it was super. It was a, a five week high. I mean, you know, the, the energy was just incredible. And um, to meet, Three people who I've watched, you know, uh, for years on television. Just kidding, Suzanne and Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Not for years, I mean, you know, but a couple times. Um, and, and to meet them for what they really are, very warm, uh, kind, and uh, sincere individuals, which I, you know, for me, I find, I, I didn't set up any expectations, but I found it very surprising and it was nice. It was, it was a nice experience, but rock was, uh, Incredible. It's got to be scary the first time that you know you've watched these people over the year and then the years and then you meet them and you're working with them. Was it was it frightening? Uh, yeah, it, it was frightening, but that created its own energy too. It, um, I mean, Rock's no slouch. He's six <laughs> five and he's a big man and uh, he's got this incredible voice that's down mm -hmm. around here somewhere. And um, to, to have him shake your hand and just, I mean, what a nice person. But the, the experience initially was, sc was scary. Even after I had finished working the five weeks with the three of those people, um, I still didn't like have a connection with Rock. I was still in awe of him. It, mm -hmm. uh, it was unbelievable. And after, then he, he came two weeks uh, later on into, into Manhattan uh, where he spent some time. And, um, and the show was was announced and everything, so we we sort of palled around for two weeks, and we uh, we got to share some things about with one another, and uh, then I really started to relax around them. Uh, but before that, prior to that, it was kind of tough because this is Rock Hudson, and yeah. the man, you know. Do you feel people will look at you that way too, as uh, as the big? Uh Knock out the handsome guy that... Uh... It, it would be nice, but then maybe it'll be like my grandmother, because that's what she says to me <laughs> all the time. Uh, no, I, um, I don't know. It, that'd be great if that's what happens, you know. But um, I, I, I sort of want to be accepted for my acting ability, mm -hmm. too. It's not sort of, I do. But I'm pretty new at this. I've only been studying for about a year. And, uh, but I've, I've, I put my hours in. I put in about 12 hours a week studying in class. Um, so, uh, and I'm very fortunate to work with an acting coach named Bob Modiger in New York. And